Our top story this morning, crews on the scene of a deadly house fire in southeast Charlotte. We still have a report of two people still inside. Try to give me a primary as fast as possible. We now know that two people and a dog have died in that two alarm fire. It's so sad at this point. Crews are still on the scene. Now this all started, we're told, just after one this morning. This home is on Wingfield Drive. This is near the South Charlotte Mint Hill border. And NBC Charlotte's Ariel Placencia is live on the scene. So, Ariel, do we know yet what started this fire? Carolyn, that's the big question. The fire is under investigation and everyone wants to know how did this start? But what a terrible story to wake up to this morning. You heard the dispatch between firefighters just a little bit ago. I listened to that earlier this morning and you could tell just how chaotic it was because when firefighters arrived on scene, the house was fully engulfed in flames. Now they have us a safe distance back right now, but take a look at this video that we shot earlier this morning. The call came in around 1 a.m. and it took over 50 firefighters about 40 minutes to get this fire under control. That's how bad it was. Sadly, we do know that two people were trapped inside. Two people are dead as well as one dog. One dog is also dead. Listen to the fire department describe what the scene looked like when they got here early this morning. It was he heavily involved in a fire upon our arrival. Uh, one, one occupant was transported to the hospital where they later uh, succumbed to their injuries and pronounced deceased down there. Just a terrible story. Again, we know that two people are dead. You just heard the fire department say that one person was taken to the hospital where he or she was pronounced dead. Now, the big question, going back to what you said, Carolyn, how did this start and who are these people? The investigation, investigation is still going, and we hope to get those details very soon. Now, coming up in 30 minutes, we'll hear from the fire department again, and they'll explain just the emotional toll that this kind of fatal fire takes on both them and the community. Live on scene, I'm Ariel Placencia, NBC Charlotte. Can only imagine. All right, Ariel, thank you.